Meanwhile, Vallejo's police chief is releasing new information about what led up to a police shooting during the looting of a Walgreens. It comes after another night of chaos in that city. The situation's so tense, the National Guard was called in last night. KPI X5's Wilson Walker on what the chief revealed about the shooting. Wilson? Well, Liz, a, a couple moving parts here in Vallejo. They are, of course, all sort of working together. There have been two nights of unrest here. As you mentioned, the National Guard came in. And then today, the police chief finally divulged some details about a shooting that happened early Tuesday morning, something we had really heard virtually nothing about until this afternoon. The early hours of Tuesday morning, Vallejo police were responding to multiple reports of looting. Police Chief Shawnee Williams says officers confronted a group outside of a Walgreens when someone running towards a car stopped, dropped to their knees, and an officer saw what he thought was the butt of a handgun. Due to this perceived threat, one officer fired his weapon five times from within the police vehicle through the windshield, striking the suspect once. Investigations later revealed that the weapon was a long 15-inch hammer tucked into the pocket of his sweatshirt. Killed was 22-year-old Sean Monterosa of San Francisco. His family is now working with civil rights attorney John Burris, and some Vallejo residents were on hand today to reject the chief's description of the shooting. There, like I said, it has been historically... The police have been historically violent in this city. And the city as a whole has now seen two nights of violence. They were just, there was a sniper on the roof two streets over. We stayed in a hotel two nights in a row because of this. So I have an eight-year-old and all she heard was gunshots and that's not how we want to live. Jenny has been collecting the non-lethal weapons discharged by police during confrontations right outside her home. Those led to the brief deployment of the National Guard overnight. Last night, the guards were placed in different areas to guard different areas. So they're not policing the city. And Vallejo is now hoping for a de-escalation after the past two nights. And I would assume that they would come back, I would hope, to protest again peacefully. But I don't want to see anybody getting hurt. Okay, Andrea Borba was talking about the mission having a long history of violent interactions between the public and police. Well, Vallejo, certainly an example of that. It's something we've heard time and again today. A gathering underway at City Hall right now to honor one person who died in a violent interaction with police. We are expecting this gathering to grow. Now, there have been peaceful protests in Vallejo every day. The trouble has come along with the nighttime. That's what's something we've seen across the Bay Area. So what happens tonight, we don't know. We assume the National Guard is still standing by somewhere in case they are needed again. We will be here to follow what happens for you. We are live in Vallejo. Wilson Walker, KPIX5.